Good day everyone. Hari ini kita akan fokus kepada construct program that perform one dimensional array. Uh, focus on minimum, maximum, uh, total and mean. We'll focus on how to do the coding for minimum, maximum, frequency, uh, total and mean for arrays. Eh? For arrays. Okay. We will re revise back what we learned so far in part 1. So part 1 we learned that uh, marks we assume to uh, array uh, square bracket double and the value in the array is around uh, 7 eh? so we can we see the uh, key point value in the array already declared so means that all the value in array we already declared with a uh, braces okay size of this array is 7 because we see 97.5 41.8 36.5 175.3 57.8 67.5 there are 7 um, value in this array so the size of array is 7 okay the index is start from 0 until 6 so index 0 until 6 so we learned that as a first lesson in our array in our previous uh, video so now we go for the second example okay this one we didn't have a value in our array we need the user to input the value but we know already the size of array for example double square bracket marks new double seven so we know that there are seven value in this array okay then user will input all the values okay for int zero first index until i less than mark dot length size of array i plus plus so when we enter the loop marks i sc dot next level we assume that our scanner is sc and user will input the value Okay, for the first value input, it will move. You will move and you will save in a index zero until the last value input. You will save in a index uh, six i six. Eh? Okay, so the key point is size of this array already declared. We already know there are seven value in this array. Index start from zero until six. Important point is user enter value to an array means that before this we already have the value in array. So now user will enter the value, but the uh, advantage is we already know the size of array. Okay, the third example, we didn't know the size of array. The size of array is not declared. Okay, and we didn't also know the value of the array and user have to enter. Okay, first we declare our double marks, new double size of array, we just enter a uh, unknown variable and eh? we enter a known variable for example we enter n so before we uh, want to know uh, what is the value inside the array we must set how many uh, size of this array what is the size of this array so user will uh, enter so for example intn sc dot next integer so you will enter size of array before you start the array then we go for double marks new double n so n that the number that you enter for example 3 you enter so we'll uh, store in new double 3 so the size of array will be 3 so you will store from index 0 until index 2 okay this is a third example we learned in our previous uh, part okay now we move on to find the maximum value of an array okay public class max so our class name is max public static void main string arguments so for example uh, we want to find the maximum value so we before we start we set the maximum value array zero index index the first index will be the maximum we assume like that then we go for array square bracket uh, our value is 3 20 90 25 100 and 578 then we go for loop so uh, index zero until array, array is uh, array dot line lah. So, or we can write down as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We set as a 5 or we just write down array.land i++. So, when you enter loop, if your array is more than maximum, so we assume that your array will be uh, the maximum marks. Okay. So, until you get the value of array. Okay. What is the problem with this coding is before you start, before you use you declare the maximum array is zero so the program didn't know the value but you assume that array zero the first index will be the maximum so the error will come out in your 
program there will be an error in your program error in output so why you got error using value of an array before you declare it so you have to declare first means that int array 320 90 25 157 you declare first your array then you declare integer maximum will be the first array array zero okay then you can go for your array okay then you go for your array okay then we move on to next we find the maximum value okay this time uh, value is entered by the user the size we already know the size is 5 but the value inside the array will be entered by user okay just uh, just same as the example 2 eh? okay scanner so integer array we set as new integer 5 means that there are 5 value in this array so before we start we set as uh, integer maximum array 0 okay then we start our looping okay for integer 0 array dot length and we find we want to insert the value for array inside the loop okay when we go for inside loop array 0 so we insert the value array 1 we insert the value array 2 we insert the value array 3 we insert the value array 4 we insert the value eh? and we want to find the maximum value for the array okay what will happen to this coding is you declare the maximum value for this array before the start loop is array 0 means that the first value you enter will be the maximum value okay for example we enter 3 2 8 9 4 the first value you enter is 3 so supposed to be the integer max will be 3 but for for this coding the maximum value before we start the coding won't be 3 because you you set the value before you uh, key in the value means that you set integer array integer max equals to array 0 but the value for the array 0 you didn't enter yet so you enter inside the loop means that the program won't accept the value integer array 0 it will assume that is an empty value inside that and you will assume the 0 number or 0 will be entered as the first value or 0 will be entered as the maximum value before you start the loop so even though you enter 3 as a first value, the value for the maximum before you start the loop will be 0. So to avoid this kind of errors, we try to set a minimum value that already declare, already have in Java library. So you can use uh, integer max equals to integer dot mean underscore value. Be uh, this, this means that the java will find the most uh, the most minimum value from the java program and you will store there so once you enter any value your will be your value will become more bigger than the previous maximum value so you can use this uh, term to replace the uh, array zero or you can use this term to declare the maximum value before you start the program so before you start the program, you set the maximum value as the minimum number. The most minimum number you set as a maximum value. So the way you write down is integer dot m i n capital letter underscore value capital letter. Okay, this one for integer. Okay, then when you enter the first uh, key point, uh, first uh, value three two eight nine four, the computer will the program will uh, calculate it and the it, 9 is a maximum value and we will come at the output eh? max is 9 you can see the output there so you try to run the coding in Sololin or BlueJ so you can find the answer same as this one okay now we move on to the minimum value so minimum value entered by the user okay so array we assume that our array it will be 3 20 90 25 157 there are five uh, value in this array so our minimum uh, value before we start the array i set as array zero means that even though the array zero there is three so the the program will assume the array zero is three so your minimum value before you start the looping is three okay then we go for the next one uh, i equals to zero i less than array dot len i plus plus array first value Array 0 is less than minimum 
okay no so you'll skip you go for the next one ray one ray one is 20 20 is less than uh three no skip you go for next one 25 25 is less than three yes it's true so you have a new minimum will be the negative 25 and go up again you find for the 100 100 less than 90 25 no you will skip go back again 57 less than 90 25 no you will skip again then the last one you will terminate from the loop and go out from the loop mean is 25 negative 25 that already we have in our loop as the minimum array okay now we go on for next one okay this one is to find the minimum value just now we find the maximum value now we want to find the minimum value so you set your array integer array bracket new array new integer will be uh, 5 so you have a 5 value inside your array so integer mean you set the maximum value you can use the formula that already have in your uh, coding integer dot max underscore value so the program will calculate the most uh, biggest number from the program as a uh, uh, minimum value as a minimum value when you enter the smaller number than the integer dot max value you will store as the latest value for your uh, mean value eh? okay then you enter the your for loop then you can enter your uh, value so i enter three two eight nine four so all our input will be stored in array so array 0 will store 3, array 1 will store 2, array 2 will store 8, array 3 will store 9, array 4 will store uh, 4 and array 5 will terminate. Okay, array 5 will terminate because we have array 0 until array 4. So when we terminate from the 4, so we want to get the if. Okay, if, so array that you enter is less than mean, so your array will be the uh, mean. So it will do until the five uh, value enter. Then the final value will be come out as a mean is uh, mean. So the minimum value is three as a example for this coding. Okay. So we go for next one. Okay. You don't want to use the integer dot max underscore value or integer dot min underscore value. Eh? So you want to use four only to get the answer. So the simplest way is you do two four statement okay for the first looping you insert the value for the array for the second looping you find the minimum or maximum value for the array okay the first uh, loop you enter the value so in integer mean so array you already in, enter the seven uh, sorry so how many value five value you enter the five value for this array then after you enter the first array the first value will store as a array zero so 3 as array 0, okay, 2 as array 1, 8 as array 2, 9 as array 3, and 4 as array 4. So array 0 is 3, so integer mean 3 will be your mean. Okay, then we go for looping, then we compare array 0 less than 3. So no, then 2 less than 3, yes, 2 will be the minimum value for now. Then 8 less than 2, no, 9 less than 2, no, 4 less than 2, no. The mean value is still as number 2. So after you exit from the loop, your output will be system dot out of print. Mean is 2. Okay. Next, we try to find the uh, total of numbers in array. Okay. This is one of the example that we will get errors when you compile. Okay. Errors in coding. Why? Because your i start with 1. Even though your i start with 1, that's a not a problem actually. The big problem is your i less equal to n. n is the size of array that you enter. For example, you enter 5, your size of array. But when you put or you write down equal in your uh, evaluation or expression, your output will become error. Eh? So this is one of the coding that will get error output eh? so we try to get the output that have uh, uh, didn't have any errors okay for example i enter five integers okay i enter five integers so enter the number of integers so i enter five so the size of array become five integer number new integer uh, n n is five okay 
The square bracket you can write down before uh, num or after num. The same goes for new int. You can write down new square bracket int or new int then you square bracket. Then you enter the loop. Okay, for i is zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Uh, then we go for the looping. I zero is the first value negative twenty. Second value then you enter ten. Third value you enter negative ten. Uh, 50, 10, negative 10 and 30. So you enter ready. So then we go for if statement. If you are the number there you enter modulus by 5. Okay. Then you uh, equal with 0. So no balance means that this is a uh, get a uh, odd numbers. Right. Positive odd numbers. Supposed to be this one is a odd numbers. So we divide by 5. Odd numbers. Okay. It's a positive and divisible by 5. Okay. This one is divisible by Five. So that's why we have modulus five. So if modulus five will get the balance. So the number that you enter modulus by five and no balance, so it can be divisible by five. And the number must be more than zero because it's positive integer. Zero is not a positive integer. So more than zero. So if both uh, condition meet, means that the number will uh, store in the uh, sum. Sum equals to sum plus num i so sum you have to declare before you start as a zero eh? so you will calculate and the total will be 90 so the final output can be the sum of positive integer and the divisible by 5 is 90 okay mean java program okay in standard method the input value that are predetermined and are in the code to find the mean of all the element the first thing required is an array of fixed element that is used to store all the values okay for example sum of all elements all the element you have to sum and divide by the total of the element okay so to find the mean we need to do uh, first we have to find the total then we divide with the number of number of uh, total okay Okay, last we go for the how to do the coding for this one. Okay, class mean, public static void mean, string ARGS. Okay, double input, new double five. For example, we have five value in our uh, array. Or we declare directly there are five value 10, 20, 30, and 40, and 50. So we want to find the total of, uh, we want to find the mean of this array. Okay, so we go for the looping. Okay, first one. Okay, our n will be 5. Okay, if, if different coding line, if, uh, and our sum will be 0. Okay, our sum will be 0, and our n will be 5. Eh? Okay, then we go for sum equals to sum plus input i. Means that your value is input, for example, your array is input i. i0 is 10, i1 is 20, i2 is 30, i4, uh, i3 is 40, and i4 is 50. So all the value will be sum and we come out from the uh, loop system dot out of print line mean is sum we already get the things there from there and divide by the length of the array. So we divide with n. So length of array is we divide with n and final output will get 30. Okay. So that's all for this topic and we will continue in part 3 for linear search. Have a nice day. May God bless you all.